Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, I am Steve Chapman, and today you and I are going to take our first peek at the new February 2021 Monster Bass bag. Now, I was not aware of the bag situation with Monster Bass. I got this on my front porch this morning and I ripped it open. I should have looked at the label and said, oh, this is from Monster Bass, but I didn't. <laughs> I looked at it and went, what the hell is that? And lo and behold, I ripped it open and found out, look what we have here. From Monster Bass, they have given us a bag instead of a box. A reusable bag that I really like but what's inside the bag is what we paid for and that's what we're gonna look at today this is the February 21 2021 southern reason region monster bass subscription box or bag if you don't know about Monster Bass, they are a monthly subscription tackle box, and for $34.95, they send you seven or eight quality name, name brand products. Some you know, some you don't know, but they're there to make the best, or what they call the better box. But do they live up to their name? Before we get started, make sure you click that subscribe button, like, comment, and click the notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. Also, if you missed today's video with Thunderhawk, the podcast. I sat down with Mike Dove, Chief Mike Dove from Thunderhawk Lures. If you are interested in getting some of their lures, like their glide bait, or their slash, or their soft plastic baits, or the lipless crank bait that'll be out soon, or even their new spinner baits, you can go on thunderhawklures.com and use the code get your fish on 30. Get you are fish on 30 and save 30% off everything you purchase making that glide bait, which is $15 or $16, like 11 or 12 bucks. And for 11 and 12 bucks, that glide bait is unbelievable. Okay, here we go. Inside the February box, they're starting us off with some Rage Swimmers from Strike King, three and three quarter inches, and that color is called what color is it called? It is called Pearl Flake. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll use this one. Next, they sent a sticker, which we're not going to talk about. They sent what's in the box. We'll look at that afterwards. They sent us a Biffle, Tommy Biffle, Junkyard Jig, which weighs half ounce. Oh, this is from River to Sea. So not a bad jig, great angler, probably pretty decent. Looks like it's a little dusty and old, but that's all right, no problems. Next, they sent us, oops, I dropped something. From Bama Baits, they sent us the Alabama Slammer. And that is a three to six, six foot diver. That color is I'm going to say sexy shad, but Alabama or Bama baits put the color on the damn container on the box, guys. How are we going to know which one to buy if we if we need to go buy another one? You don't know the color. I hate that. Next, I'll go get on here and get it. From Spearpoint Hooks, they sent a 2, 3 and 4 out 3 piece hooks. Can't use these. I'm a Daiichi guy. That's all right. Oh, here we are. We just talked about them. Huh. Isn't that funny? From Thunderhawk Lures. This is the Camel Crawl. That color is... Smoke, maybe? I don't know if that's smoke, but it looks like it's black with some flake in it. All right. I'll use those for sure. Next from Candy Baits, made in the USA. Some Ned Logs, Watermelon Red, 10 pack. No. 
what else do we got in here next they sent a pro model crankbait series 4 strike king diver that dives five to eight foot these long build ones don't really work here in florida to be honest good color that's called sexy shad take note of that bama baits they have someone actually put the color of what it is and you should too but sexy shad great looking bait I mean, striking makes some of the best baits out there just a little bit too much of a deep diver for here in florida you get past you get past orlando we just don't have ponds that are or lakes that are eight foot because of all the vegetation and everything and i question why we get these deep divers in florida i know this is the regional box for the southern states so i imagine uh georgia and other places probably get this so that's why i got it too i just hate it and last but not least they sent from Lunker Hunt, the Yapparat. No, no, and no. Now I know this has a great action in the water. I'll be brutally honest. I have yet to catch anything that says Yappa on it. So the mouse, the rat, the everything, the Yappa series, just doesn't do it for me. And that's just personal. I cannot catch anything on them. Doesn't mean you can't. I'm not taking anything away from that. But for me, I don't like this one. That's just me personally. So overall, if we if we take that deep dive, that crankbait, and the yappa, which we know we're not going to use, we're not going to use the candy baits. We're not going to use the spear point hooks. So overall, there's probably four products I will use: the swimmer, the, the plastic swimmers from Strike uh, Rage Tail, the jig. The Bama baits that I don't know the color of and the Thunderhawk lures, I'll probably use those two because they, they really have some good action. So overall, four out of eight I used. If I had to rank this, grade this, this on a one to ten, I probably would give it a solid B. And, it, and that's because of the bag, to be honest. The bag's bringing everything up. I like the bag. I'll use the bag. But let's go through what they say and what the retail prices are. So, for Lunker Hunt Yappa Series, they say that lure is worth $9.50. The Strike King Pro Model 4 Series is worth $5. The River to Sea Tommy Biffle Junkyard Jig is worth $6. The Surprise Bait, I wonder which one the Surprise Bait is, is $9. The Strike King Rage Swimmer Swim Bait is $5.50. The Candy Baits Neg Logs are $5. The Thunderhawk Camel Crawl are $4.50. The Spear Point Hook Performance performance Hooks are $3. And then the Monster Bass Reusable Bait Bag is $10. For a retail price of $57.50. Meaning that that, yeah, uh, that Bama, that Bama um, Twitch Bait was the surprise bait and that's worth $9. So um, fifty-seven fifty. If you were paid to get that, and you paid thirty-four fifty, you were you know you're getting a good twenty-three dollar bonus into all that stuff. Uh, I have a slight problem though. In the past, we never got a price on the box. So why would they put in there that the reusable bag was ten dollars? Because. I, I know I appreciate that they gave me the bag, but I'm now I'm sitting here and this is I'm just going through my head and, and this is just really right off the top of my head. Would I rather have the bag or another lure? Um, because they never charged us for or never told us what the box was in the first place. What it comes in isn't what I'm paying for. I'm paying for lures. And while, to be quite honest, I think the bag's the best thing of that that whole thing this month, I don't know if I would put how much the bag was, considering I thought it was supposed to be free. Oh, here we go. Hello, box. Hello, monster bag. We're blowing up the box and sending you regional kits in this water-resistant, durable, reusable, incredibly useful bait bag. Why? Because our, com uh, our commitment to deliver the best baits doesn't end with hand-staking baits and lures. The bags have a value of $10 MSRP to be exact. And we're giving you one free every month of your subscription. The better box, the better box just got better. So 
So now I even have a bigger problem with this. If the, if the bag is free, I don't think you should put it in how much the retail product is th of this is. Because honestly, and if I'm wrong, please comment, but keep it, keep it real. Don't go crazy and swearing and all the other crap that some of you guys do, because that's just not polite. But I buy this box for lures, not for what comes in the lures, what the lures come into. And I do think that that bag is killer. But I don't know how I, that I would put it in the overall value of the box. Because if that's sort of the case, that box really is only worth $47.50. And when you look at $47.50 versus the $34.50 or $34.95 that you paid, now you're looking at that box is only worth that you're only getting a, a value of 12 bucks. That sucks. Maybe I'm wrong here. If I'm wrong, comment below and tell me that I'm wrong. But this is just my opinion. I do love the bag. I'll use the bag. To be honest, the bag will probably get more use than everything in there, excluding um, excluding those Rage Tails and those that, that Thunderhawk lures. I could be wrong, and I apologize if I am wrong. Anyway, comment below and tell me what you think. Would If you got that bag, would you be happy with it? If it was a gift, would you be happy with it? If you purchased it, would you be happy with it? What would you grade it on a 1 to 10? I'm going to say it's a solid 7. Solid 7.5. There are a lot of baits on here that are really are not very expensive. And I don't know if... I, and I, nah, Really, I've never thought about it. Is is the price of the bait really what I'm, what I'm buying this for? Or is it the the quantity and quality of the bait uh, because there's three or four things on here I've never heard of the Bama baits I think they've given us one before in the past the candy baits never heard of them uh, I only know Thunderhawk because they're here and I've been doing videos of closer looks of their stuff and but they're a little tiny um, person in the industry uh, soon to be bigger but right now they're they're tiny so what would you grade this one to ten if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I apologize. Okay. I hope that you have a blessed day. I hope that you're happy, healthy, and able to go fishing. Remember, do a few things. Take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Hope you like the new backtrack. Back board, whatever the hell you want to call it. We will see you soon. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, click up here. If you want to see our last video, it should be right here. Take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Cheers.